Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to create a Google Slides and what are all the features. As you see here, I'm on the Google homepage. I'm going to go to the menu button which is on the right hand, um, right -hand corner. And, it, and it's also next to the images. It looks like a waffle, so um, I'm just going to call it as a waffle. And take a minute to see. I don't have it over here. So I'm going to scroll down to my next page. Woohoo! I got the slides over here. So I'm going to left click it. Most of the things I click is left click. So if it gives you this page, I'm just going to click the X. So no presentations. That's what we want. And then do you see this blank? Um, I'm going to click the plus sign, which on the bottom is named blank. It's going to take a minute to load. Okay, now I'm on this presentation. So, name your presentation. For me, I'm going to do it Mickey, nah, Mickey Mouse. Mickey. Mickey Mouse. So, I'm going to change the theme. So just scroll down and look at all the themes you have. Yeah, I would like this one. So I'm going to type as my header and my title, Mickey. Mickey Mouse. And exclamation marks. Now, I don't want this subtitle one, so I'm going to delete it. Okay, so now to create a new slide to put all the photos and stuff, or I'm, I mean a new template, I go to slide and put new slide on the top. Now I'm on this page. I'm going to type Mickey, Mickey Mouse. And I can't insert a photo on a text box, so I'm going to delete this text box. Good. Now that I'm done deleting the text box, I'm going to teach you guys how to insert a photo. So, I'm going to go to the insert next to the slide, format, view, edit, and file. I'm going to click insert. And there's all these options. To insert a photo, just click image and click search the web. But if you have photos of uh, Mickey, uh, Mickey Mouse in your computer, which you downloaded, you would click upload from computer. But I don't, so I'm gonna click search the web. And then I'm gonna type Mickey Mouse. And always, always, always put dot PNG always also it's going to come as a background so i have all these photos scroll down a minute and see which one you like the best look now i have this mickey mouse and i'm gonna add um i'm gonna add some things to it so i'm gonna click text box and make it um, about this big for me. That suits me. And then you see this is black. If you could see over here. I don't want it black. Or, or else it's going to blend in with the background. So I'm going to click the A button, which is the text color. And I'm going to put another, a brighter color, which is red. So I'm going to type... Um, This is Mickey. And since I did that, I'm gonna um I'm gonna put some numbers. So for the number list, you're gonna come um over here to the number list on the side. I'm gonna click the number list. And yay! The one came. If you don't want the one, just use your backspace button to delete. But I'm going to do the one. 
one. And then I'm gonna put Mickey two is nice. And I don't want that anymore. So I'm, I'm gonna put a bullet list. That right next to the um, number list, I'm gonna click the bullet list. And it came as these um, dots. I'm gonna type Mickey, Mickey, and then I'm gonna type kind. And then um, to align them, like for example, now um, it's in the side over here. I'm gonna copy these, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do the title. And to align them, I'm going to click the align button right next to the um, line spacing. And also the add comment. And this, this is the left. Hold on, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to click it. I'm going to put, this is the left. And this is the middle. Do you see it moved to the middle? And then now, this is to the right. And this is to the um, justify, which is over here. So now that I taught you guys all those things, another good thing I like is click the text box and go to this fill color right next to the board, border color. color. And, I, and then you could change it whatever you want. Like for example, I could change this whole text box. In my opinion, I love the granite. It's like so a uh, bright and lightish color. And then if you wanna highlight, I mean, if you want to make all these a different color, you could go over here and put green. And then if you don't want the Mickey Mouse to be this color, you could put um, blue and then you could put as this as the border color um, and all of those things. Did you see before um, it was not purple? I just, um, look, if it, it's on transparent, you don't see any purple lines. But if I click the text box and if I put this border color right next to the fill color, I'm gonna put, for example, purple, which is brighter. You see it, but you see it very, very light. To do that, you go to the border weight. Um, for me, I think the, f um, the right one is 4px or 3px. The 4px made it thicker. But if you put 24px, that's too much. So eight, eight might be good, actually. So, I have a little more to teach you guys. So I'm gonna go to the slide and new slide. Um, I don't want this type of layout. I'm gonna take a blank. To put a background, you're gonna put background and instead of changing the color, like um, taking, for example, go to insert and putting a green color and then um, filling it in, you could just go to um, background over here and choose whatever color. Blue. You can also choose the image, but I don't want to choose the image. I could also add a theme. Yay, now it's blue. All of them turn, turn blue, which is good. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to um, insert shapes. Click the shape. Do you see the text box? And insert image. But this time, click shape. Then I'm gonna put, and then you could go shapes, arrows, and then you see this cursor just turned a different way. You could cop, you could um, stretch it out, and now I have this. But I, I don't like this color, so I'm gonna go back to the solid, um, the fill color. I could put black. As I told already, I like the granite. -aid. Yeah, let's do that color. I also have an, um, another thing to teach you guys. Uh, I'm gonna delete this. 
this and I'm going to put a text box. And now I got a text box. So if I put um Mickey, I'm gonna highlight it and make it bigger so then you guys can see. Make it bolder. Mickey. I'm gonna press Control D to duplicate it. Now you see I have two. Um, I have two over here. But there's this really cool thing. Go to our range and go to order and put send backward. I mean, send back. I mean, send forward. Yes. Now, it worked. The um, arrange and order thing is to bring backward and bring um, front. But always put front or back because the backward and frontward doesn't make that um, much as a change. So, you can also insert lines. So, click this line button right next to the shape button. Select line, scribble, I get scribble. I could scribble some things like how I did over here. And I'm going to delete this text boxes to make it easier to see. As you see, I scribbled. Uh, I don't want scribble right now. I want line. And did you see the line? I did the line. But again, you could um, change the line color to blue. Or you could change it to this color, you can change it to whatever color you want. There's also this polo line over here. And that and that thing keeps going. So, as you see, if you have this, it keeps going, it never stops. So go to this cursor symbol right next to the text box or just click escape. Now everything went. So, um, also, go to slide, and if you want, you can click a new slide, or you can click duplicate slide. So, first, you see, um, I have that, and then now you see I have this. This is slide 6, remember that now. Now, I'm on slide 7, because I just duplicated that slide. And then, the last thing I'm going to teach you guys today is how to put the present. On the top right hand corner, you see this present mode. If you click that, you could see all these slides to go to seven. I'm going to start from one, Mickey Mouse. There's also a, point, um, a pointer over here. And to exit the uh, mode, just click exit over here or just click escape. 